This is the OTB Network. in the Alligator Alley. And it's one cool dude who strikes the front. Loving Dove away running in second. Leave of absence third between those two. These three are going to head into the turn right together on the lead. And the favorite Long Hunter will sit right behind them. Then it's Uncle Otto to the inside. Stormy the Cats in the back with Derby Kitten. Six lengths from front running Loving Dove. Loving Dove and Elvis Trujillo lead them to the back stretch. A half length on top of Leave of Absence in second. Outside of them, it's one cool dude. The first quarter, 23 and 4. Uncle Otto is down on the inside in fourth. Long Hunter is fifth right now. Hard held and four lengths off the lead. Then it's Stormy the Cat. Derby Kitten in the back of the field has eight lengths to make up as they continue the run down the back stretch. Loving Dove and Leave of Absence right together now. 48 flat was the half mile time. One cool dude just to the outside of them running along in third. Uncle Otto is fourth along the rail. Then the favorite Long Hunter still strongly in hand right now. Just three lengths off the lead and beginning to move up. Long Hunter very strong here has not been asked to run and continues to progress right outside the leaders and Long Hunter is about to be in front. They're coming to the top of the stretch, and Long Hunter still under a hand ride, and now Le Peru says, let's go, and Long Hunter takes off. Long Hunter pulls away at will, and from far behind, Derby Kitten has rushed into second. Long Hunter has the lead as they come down to the wire. Long Hunter by a length and a half over Derby Kitten. Stormy the Cat was third, and then one cool dude. They're racing in the rampart. Unrivaled Bell had a very good start. Awesome Maria came out fine, and on their inside, it's persuading. And these three will lead them into the first turn, and they're going along at a solid early pace. Successful Song is running in third and saving all the ground there. Dubai Dancer is at the back of the field, along with Stephanie got even. It's persuading an unrivaled bell a neck apart on the first turn and awesome Maria just to the outside of them running in third after a quarter of 23 and three fifth seconds. Successful song sits fourth as they go to the back stretch with five lengths to make up and it's three lengths more back to Dubai dancer and Stephanie got even and they're right together as the field moves down the back stretch. Persuading and Javier Castellano have cleared now. They're in front by a length and a half. Unrivaled Bell content to sit just behind in second. And Awesome Maria has dropped back a bit in third. She's now three lengths off the lead. Then comes Successful Song fourth to the inside. After that, Stephanie got even and Dubai Dancer has dropped well behind now. The half was in 46 and four fifth seconds as they go into the far turn. It is still Persuading on top by a length. Now Awesome Maria draws up alongside of her. Awesome Maria is making a move for the lead right now, and there she goes. Awesome Maria has swept to the front of the far turn, and successful Song gets through on the inside. Then it's unrivaled Bell in third. Back to fourth is persuading. Stephanie got even as next. Three quarters in one, ten and four, and they're into the stretch. And awesome Maria comes to the eighth pole with a three-length lead on successful song. Unrivaled Bell is next on the outside, then persuading. Awesome Maria's pulling away. Awesome Maria. Oh, yeah, she is. She won it by seven lengths. Then came successful song. Unrivaled Bell in persuading.
And they're all in line. They're racing in the Gulfstream Park Oaks. And off to a perfect start. Triune and Kindersley go out for the lead together. On the inside is Salary Drive away, running in third position early. As they move for the first turn, Basil Grande is next. And our heat lightning a bit wide on that first turn, but now moving up into fourth and within three lengths of the lead. It's Tricky is second last early on, and Island School will sit at the back of the field and race about 13 lengths off the lead as Triune heads them to the back stretch. A fast opening quarter of 20 three flat triune on top a length and a half followed by Kindersley, Salary Drive, and Our Heat Lightning to the outside. Beso Grande is right in behind them with four lengths to make up. It's tricky. He's got eight lengths to gain as they continue down the backstretch, and it's a good six or seven back to Island School. 46-1 and one was the half. Again, a solid tempo here for Triune and Paco Lopez, and Our Heat Lightning has moved up into second now, and she's only a half length behind with a half mile left. Salary Drive is down on the inside trying to squeeze through at the fence. Kindersley and Beso Grande are next and It's Tricky's beginning her run. It's Tricky's picking it up. She's going to have to circle the field. She's four lengths off the lead and Island School is also gaining ground from behind. Our Heat Lightning has taken over. Three quarters in one, ten and four and under a hand ride, Our Heat Lightning is in front by a length. Salary Drive second to the inside. Island School running a big one now. She swings to the outside. It's Tricky laboring now in fourth, and our Heat Lightning still under a hand ride, and she's pulling away at will. She's got a five-length lead on Island School and Salary Drive. Our Heat Lightning dominates the Gulfstream Park Oaks. Then came Island School, Salary Drive, and it's Tricky finished fourth. They're racing in the swale. Indiano had the best beginning, but is going to be taken back here as Rasmataz will come up the rail to grab the lead. Traveling Man is right there to the outside, and in behind the leaders are Megalith and Little Drama. It's going to be Rasmataz and Javier Castellano leading him up the back stretch with stablemate Traveling Man now second to the outside. Indiano tucks back third, two lengths off the lead. Little Drama fourth along the rail, and Megalith is the trailer, only three and a half lengths off the lead. The pace is not fast at all for the that opening quarter was in 23 seconds flat. Past the half mile pole, and it's Rasmataz on top by a length. The big favorite, Traveling Man, is running in second as they go into the turn. Then it's Megalith on the outside of Indiano, and the trailer is Little Drama. The half was in 46 and two fit seconds, and Rasmataz leads the way. Traveling Man now moves up right alongside. Megalith outside the leaders. Behind them are Indiano and Little Drama at the rail, and Traveling Man makes his move for the lead at the top of the stretch. Rasmataz running a big one at the rail and then it's Little Drama, Indiano, and Megalith, but it's Traveling Man! Traveling Man at the 16th pole, and he's pulling away. Then Indiano, and Little Drama, Traveling Man, and the Swale! Then Indiano, Little Drama, and Rasmataz. And they're all in line. They're racing in the Sir Shackleton. 
Captain Candyman can broke well. There goes Nathan's HQ rushing out to take the lead. Our Edge is going to go right with him, and Regal Ransom takes third. Captain Candyman can right there running in fourth. Safe Trip is fifth, five lengths off the lead, and four more back to Ibi Boyi, who trails the field as they move down the back stretch. Our Edge and Nathan's HQ. These two ran 21 and four for the first quarter. Regal Ransom and Captain Candyman can right behind at the half mile pole. Safe Trip is in fifth, still about four and a half lengths off the lead. Ibi Boyi is ten behind. Around the far turn, Nathan's HQ on the outside. Now the leader a half length over our edge. Captain Candyman can closing in. Then Regal Ransom, Safe Trip circling up with speed on the outside and Ibi Boyi's last but getting closer. 44 and one for the half. They're into the stretch and it is Captain Candyman can in front. Nathan's HQ to the inside. Safe trip and Regal Ransom. Center of the track, IB Boy E. It is Captain Candyman Can. Nathan's HQ on the outside, Regal Ransom. IB Boy E. Center of the track, Captain Candyman Can. And he did. Regal Ransom was second. Then Nathan's HQ and IB Boy E. They're all in line. They're racing in the skip away. Coliseo came out very quickly and goes out to lead them. Gabriel's Hill, there goes SS Stone to the outside. Jackson Bend is right behind them and down on the inside it's our dark night as they race for that first turn. King Gidra's in between horses. Hardim is next. Winged Lie, a little bit wide there and racing about five lengths off the lead. Drosselmeyer is third last early, eight behind. In the back of the field are Moman and Ron the Greek. It's Coliseo who ran a quarter in 23 and 4 and heads them onto the back stretch, three quarters of a length in front of SS Stone. Then it's Our Dark Knight, third to the inside. Gabriel's Hill right up alongside. Jackson Bend, three deep to the back stretch. Then Hard Demon, Winged Lie on the far outside. Two and a half lengths farther back to King Gidra and Drosselmeyer, who's now six lengths off the lead. Then it's Moman and Ron the Greek in the back. A half mile in 48 and 1 for Coliseo and Ramon Dominguez, and they're a length in front of SS Stone. Our Dark Knight is down on the inside in third. Drosselmeyer is moving now, and he's moving on the outside of Jackson Bend. Now they're within two and a half lengths of the lead. Then it's Gabriel's Hill. Hardim is after that, followed next by King Gidra. Moman to the inside. Ron the Greek still with about 10 to make up and winged lie. Three quarters in 1, 12 and 2. Around the far turn. It is still Coliseo. SS Stone. Jackson Ben put to the whip. Drosselmeyer's flattened out. And now beginning to move is Ron the Greek who's taken fifth. But with work to do, they're into the stretch. SS Stone on the outside has taken the lead. It's SS Stone in front. Jackson Bend on the outside, Coliseo along the rail, Ron the Greek is fourth, SS Stone past the 16th pole in front, Jackson Bend and Coliseo on the inside, SS Stone won the skip away by two. Jackson Bend was second, Coliseo third, then Ron the Greek. They're racing in the Emirates Airlines Appleton. Little Mike is going out to the front. Nick Ganor is right after him early. And then it's commandeered successful mission to the outside. Is away in fourth and floated four deep into the first turn. Cherokee Artist saves ground in fifth. And then it's Makoshi two and a half back to asphalt in the back with Riviera Cocktail as Little Mike takes his customary front running position to the back stretch. He 
ran that quarter in 23 and one fifth seconds. Little Mike keeps the lead, pressured by a successful mission, and between those two it's commandeered, and Nicanor is back to fourth on the inside. Then it's Cherokee Artist, followed by Makoshi, who's got three and a half to make up. It's another three to Asphalt, and last of all, it's Riviera Cocktail, who's just loping along ten lengths off the lead after a 46 flat half mile. Joe Bravo and Little Mike lead the field into the far turn by a half length. Successful mission is running along in second. Cherokee Artist is third. Outside of them, Makoshi then commandeered. Nicanor's got four and a half lengths to make up, then Asphalt, and still last is Riviera Cocktail. Three quarters went in 109 flat. They've picked it up as Little Mike turns for home in front. Little Mike's gonna play catch me if you can here. He's down to the eighth pole. He's got a two length lead. He's starting to pull away. Then successful mission commandeered. Late runs coming from Asphalt and Riviera Cocktail trying to catch Little Mike as they come to the wire. Little Mike got it again! Riviera Cocktail was second and then came Asphalt. They're all in line. They're off in the Florida Derby. And it's Arch Traveler who goes out to the early lead to honor and serve on the inside. Now comes on through and he's gonna set the pace to the turn. Arch Traveler's right there. Shackelford Flashpoint did not make the lead. He's fourth to the outside and Soldad is right in behind horses on the rail running in fifth position. Then stay thirsty. Bowman's Causeway is only four and a half lengths off the lead as they make their way to the back stretch and dialed in is well off the pace here. He's 14 behind. The first quarter was 23 and one. So it's long shot Shackelford and Jesus Castagnon who take the initiative as they go up the back stretch and to honor and serve is three quarters of a length behind. Flashpoint is third right in behind the leaders. Then Arch Traveler who's outside of Soldat and now they're five lengths off the lead. Stay Thirsty and Bowman's Causeway are right behind. Dialed in is 14 lengths off this pace and the pace is solid of 46 and one half mile. Less than a half mile to go. Shackelford is the leader as they move into the turn. Now to honor and serve. is guided right to the outside of him. He's a neck back. Flashpoint is running in third. Soldat is fourth at the rail. And then it's Arch Traveler. Dialed in is beginning his move. He's about to go by. Stay Thirsty. Dialed in is still about seven lengths off the lead. And then it's Bowman's Causeway. Three quarters in one. Ten and three. They're coming to the top of the stretch. And Shackelford trying to pull off a big upset is in front in the floor at a derby to honor and serve dialed in is coming with his giant strides on the far outside still has to get to Shackelford Shackelford still there dialed in coming after him Shackelford the race of his life dialed in's got him dialed in dialed in won the Florida Derby Shackelford was right with him on the wire to honor and serve and flashpoint Big money in the show pool. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good start there for Magical Feeling. Indian Legend is there on the outside. Harissa between those two. Out of the shoot onto the main track, it's Magical Feeling by a neck. Harissa right there alongside. She's second by two. Indian Legend and Bright Abyss are heads apart third and fourth as Jemelin has been taken quickly down inside. Jemelin broke from the outside gate but is now down nearest the rail and quickly moves up within two lengths of the lead. 
Farther back to come Sunday. Come Sunday at 6, racing almost eight back. Another two and a half to power bid. Opening quarter was not that fast, 22 and three. Three and a half are longs to go. Harissa on the outside. Magical feeling is the one in between horses. And Gemelin is trying to keep up down at the rail. Beginning to quicken now. Magical feeling by a neck. Harissa sticks right with her second. Gemelin did not go on. Indian Legend now moves to third. Right abyss on the far outside is fifth. As they come to the top of the stretch, Harissa waiting to get her cue to go on. And the field turns for home just under a hand ride. It's Harissa. Harissa comes charging off the turn to take command. Nothing left for Magical Feeling. Indian Legend is under a drive on the outside. Jemelin stays tough down at the rail, but it's still Harissa. Harissa keeping the ball at bay. She's winding late. They come to the finish. It will be Harissa. Harissa strides home a convincing three and a half late winner. Indian Legend second. Jemelin finished third. Waiting for Princess Malka. And they're off. Princess Malka, off to an awkward start, is last. Dwelt at the start. Secret piece to the inside to the front with Trez. Outside is Lily Couture's. Is out there with the pace three wide to the Pimlico first turn. The trio across the track. And D-Day is well settled in the early stages. And Grandola Quentin Amelia's Brio. And Princess Malka is last. So round the turn, and it's Secret Peace just holding. Lily Couture's by ahead. Secret Peace now ahead in front with six furlongs to go. Lily Couture's to the outside. Trez backs away a bit from third, and D-Day is close to the duelers now in fourth spot. And back of the outside is Amelia's Brio Grand Eloquent and Princess Malka. With four and a half furlongs left to go. Looks like a steady and even pace out there for Lily Couture's and Secret Peace to the inside with Trez trying to make a comeback run from third. D-Day is racing in the fourth spot. The pace picked up only slightly into the turn and now into the turn with three and a half furlongs to go. Lily Couture's Secret Peace with Trez racing the third spot. D-Day lurks from the fourth position on the inside, just three off the lead. Amelia's Brio is going to take the wide route to the top of the stretch. Grandiloquin and Princess Melka. They make the turn for home. Lily Couture's secret piece is fighting back for more, and D-Day switch to the center of the track for Ron. And here is Jeremy Rose and D-Day. D-Day in front from Amelia's Brio is trying to close the gap on the outside, and secret piece battles on in between horses as Lily Couture's is weakened up, and Grandiloquin in between runners, a six to go and it's D-Day. Today is the day and the shine again for D-Day. D-Day scores by five. Grand Eloquent was second and Amelia's Brio in secret piece. And they're off. Miss Luann broke sharply. Up on the outside, Coastal Solace. Down along the inside, Blushing Dixie. Then La Grande Bella Dora and Sweet Miss Kitty. Into the turn, and Miss Luann has the lead. Moves out to the center of the track, leads at a length. Coastal Solace second by two and a half, Blushing Dixie third. La Grande Bella Dora is on the rail, then Sweet Miss Kitty. They got the quarter in 24 and 3. Miss Luann has the lead by almost a length over Coastal Solace in second by two and a half. Blushing Dixie is third. Sweet Miss Kitty fourth and La Grande Bella Dora is the trailer as they move down the back stretch. 
half mile went in 49 flat. On the inside, that's still Miss Luann with Coastal Solace right there in second. Blushing Dixie moves a closer third. Sweet Miss Kitty is fourth. Now La Grande Ladora is moving through from the rail. The entire field two lengths apart. They're into this turn. It's on the inside. Miss Lou Ann and moving through from the rail. La Grande Ladora. Coastal Solace up on the outside is now dropped back. Sweet Miss Kitty gains ground with Blushing Dixie. But Miss Lou Ann is still there as they move into the stretch. La Grande Ladora made a move on the rail but then dropped back. Now through from the inside, that's Blushing Dixie. La Grande Ladora swings to the outside. Blushing Dixie gets the lead from Miss Lou Ann. Blushing Dixie. Dixie and Sean Bridgemahan win over Miss Lou Ann. Then on the outside, La Grande Belladora third. And they're off in the no-double breeder stakes. And Comadero wastes no time today. He rushes out there to take the lead. Toga Storm, though, is going to be right alongside of him. Il St. Roy is next at the rail. Moving through as he's a rainbow. After that, tis timeless. And Calvin Burrell takes Chance Naff way back at this field as they move down the back stretch. That is Toga Storm going to battle it with Comadero. Two lengths further back. Il St. Roy is running in third. He's a rainbow's fourth, followed by Tis Timeless and Chance and a half. The opening quarter sizzled in 21 and three. That is Comadero leading in length and a half. Middle of the track, running second is Toga Storm. Il St. Roy is still third. Tis Timeless is next, followed then by He's a Rainbow in Chance and a half. And here they come into the stretch of the no double breeder stakes. And under a hand ride, Comadero has opened up that lead to four lengths. Toga Storm running in second. Tis Timeless trying to move up in third as they turn for home. It is Comadero, last year's Arkansas bred of the year, and he is just dusting off this field, leading it by about seven lengths as he strides toward the wire. Toga Storm is hanging on for second with the 16th to go. Comadero rallies home under a hand ride by Robbie Alvarado by about eight lengths. That was Toga Storm finishing second, and Il St. Roy was third. Way they go to a perfect start. Mother Ruth bounces out very fast and takes the early lead. Broken Dreams is quick from the inside gate. Silver Swallow on the far side and subsidized as four lengths off the leader. The early trailer is Gilded Gem. They run past the five eights and Mother Ruth very fast, taking a strong hold of the bit she wants to go on, but Ryder's slowing her down up front now. Mother Ruth three parts of a length. In the second spot is Broken Dream. Silver Swallow goes to put some pressure on them on the far side. Down at the rails, subsidized. Only two and a half lengths separates four and then a gap of five back to Gilded Jam. Into the turn they go, and Mother Ruth has kicked away again. Mother Ruth still got a tight hold of the bit, keen to go on. She leads a length and a quarter to Broken Dreams. Silver Swallow on the far side. Subsidized, no more than three lengths off the leader. And now Gilded Gem starting to move in from last. They're at the top of the lane, and Mother Ruth is the leader. Gilded Gem could be the big danger, though. Green Cap, Grandstand side, coming home gamely. Homeward bound, Mother Ruth the leader. Subsidized, Gilded Gem down the centre of the track continues to close good ground under a hand ride and it's Gilded Gem coming fast down the centre, Silver Swallow getting involved late but Gilded Gem a big win today, Gilded Gem and Joel Rosario win it well subsidised second, then Silver Swallow Mother Ruth and Broken Dreams
way they go to a good beginning. Bet on Victor bounces out the outside gate, but here comes Captain Cherokee on the inside. M1 Rifle got a beautiful start and lines up with the leaders. Ventana's on the far side. Attaboy Roy coming through at the rail to join the leaders. Amazombies right there in six. Then we come back to Crown of Thorns and Colgan's Chip the Grey. They're only four lengths off the leaders. Another four to Don Tito and then four more to Chocolate Candy. They run past the half mile pole and M1 Rifle is the leader. Bet on Vector between horses, Ventana on the far side, those three lining up into the turn. Then it's Amazombie, Captain Cherokee's right there too. Attaboy Roy is six at the rail, having to be sent along. In behind that, Crown of Thorns, who's now five off the leader, then Coleman's Chip. In behind that comes Don Tito and a gap of six back to Chocolate Candy. Coming to the top of the lane, M1 Rifle at the rail, bet on Vector right there, Ventana. Amazombie, white sleeves on the outside, Captain Cherokee, gold cap coming on, Crown of Thorns didn't fire today. They come for home, Ventana, Amazombie on the outside, M1 rifle at the rail, Captain Cherokee, anyone of four, Amazombie, Captain Cherokee down to two, Captain Cherokee, Amazombie, Amazombie, Amazombie it owes to Captain Cherokee, Ventana was third, M1 rifle, finish four. And they're off. Understatement comes out for the lead and drifts out to the outside as they make their way for the first turn. Now he's angled over to the rail and with the lead is Understatement. And here at the gold floated a bit wide as they came out of the gate. Now runs along in second. Goombada Guska very eager but on hold while third on the outside. Modern Cowboys back and forth and more than a reason trails the field. And understatement, sailing along through the opening quarter, uncontested in 24 and 3 fifths seconds. And takes the field as they turn into the back stretch. Understatement settles into an easy beat here with six furlongs to go. Well clear of Inherit the Gold, who's sitting chilly. Second on the inside of Goombada Guska, third. Modern Cowboy drafting in behind them. More than a reason trails the field as understatement continues, uncontested. 49 and 2 was the opening half mile. So a tactical advantage for the front runner here. Understatement. A half mile to go. Still in front. And now Eddie Castro says go with the gray gelding in here at the gold. They're running second now and starting to whittle away at that lead of understatement, who should have plenty left for the final three furlongs. Three quarters and one thirteen and two. And now they make their way toward the top of the stretch. Understatement, the leader. And now here comes Inherit the Gold. Here comes Goombada Guska. After them on the outside. Modern Cowboy and more than a reason. They're off the turn. And here comes Inherit the Gold, who powers on by to take the lead. Inherit the Gold opening up now. Understatement, nothing left for that final furlong. And here's Modern Cowboy, who moves to second. But here is Inherit Inherit the gold, and the beat goes on for him, and he wins with style once again. Six likes was that final margin for the consistent Inherit the gold. Modern cowboy, then understatement. Ready? And they're off, and good habits going right after that lead. So, too, is those lion eyes. As the field moves up the back, those lion eyes now takes the lead. And good habits runs along in second. Funky Monkey Mama, three wide and third, and uh, Midnight Visit, four wide and fourth. Developed by Gambling Geraldine and Jackie Moe, out sprinted in the opening quarter mile here. Those lion eyes. Pressed by good habits. 
through a quarter and 22 and three fifths seconds. Sharp fractions here. Those lion eyes continues to hold a narrow advantage now over good habits. Midnight visit makes a four wide move after the lead, approaching the top of the stretch. Funky Monkey Mama's now back running in fourth. And then it's Jackie Moe who comes through on the rail, gambling Geraldine who goes up on the outside as the field turns for home. It was a 46 flat half mile for those lion eyes. Midnight Visit continues to make a steady run on the outside. Good Habits is third. Those lion eyes still in front. Midnight Visit. It'll be very close between those two. Midnight Visit, those lion eyes. Midnight Visit, those lion eyes. Midnight Visit won it. Outgutting loathes lion eyes down to the line. Jackie Moe third.